So you're cooped up at home and you're bored, huh? Well, it's time to change the world. Time to make history. Time to break a world record. Hi, my name is Joel Strasser, and I hold multiple Guinness World Record titles for putting things in my beard. I discovered that my beard was good at holding things a couple years back when I used to teach classes at work. I would walk around the classroom, and I'd put pencils in my beard just to see who was paying attention. And one day, one of those learners said, Hey, Joel, what do you think are the most pencils you could put in your beard? Do you think there's a world record for that? Well, that planted the seed, and the rest is history. Now I'm inviting you to get in on the action. I know that many guys are growing their beards out while they're at home. And to them I say, welcome to the Bearded Brotherhood. Happy to have you here. I'm sorry it took a global pandemic for you to get here, but hey, you're here and that's all that matters. We're going to get through this before you know it, and I invite you to keep your beard once this is all over. Today I'm going to walk you through the record titles that I hold, and I'm going to give you pro tips so you can try them out yourself. These are all things that you can try at home. Here's my first pro tip. When you start growing a beard for the first time, brace yourself for an onslaught of negativity. People you know and love are going to tell you that they think you should shave it, and not always in a nice way. You may call it your facial friend, but I don't. I call it, you looking like a bum. It's gotta go. I found that for some inexplicable reason, people can be very direct in their opinion that you'd be better off without a beard. And you don't see people being that direct about other aspects of people's faces. Hey, your nose is crooked. You should really get a nose job. Just remember that when people are downright opinionated about your beard, it's probably just because that they're jealous that they don't have a beard. But don't worry. Awesome people like me will be really supportive to you. My first world record was for putting the most toothpicks in my beard. 3,500 of them to be exact. You don't have to have the world's biggest beard to break this record. You only need the world's best technique. Pro tip for this record, your neck will be sore. It takes over three hours of slowly adding weight to the front of your face to put 3,500 toothpicks in a beard. That weight will take a toll after a while. Consider scheduling a chiropractor appointment for after your record attempt. My second world record was for most straws in a beard, when I put 312 straws into my beard. Pro tip, if you throw all the straws away after your attempt, they're going to end up harming an innocent sea creature in the ocean. So instead of tossing them, just gather them up and put them away. Let unsuspecting family members use them in their drinks. They'll never be the wiser. Okay, don't really do that. Next up is the record for most golf tees in a beard, when I stuck 607 golf tees right into my beard. Now you don't have to be good at golf to break this record, but pro tip, like many of these records, you're not just shoving things in your beard, you're building a structure on your face. If you stick the golf tees in all haphazardly, they're just going to fall out. So brush up on your engineering and architecture skills before making your attempt. My favorite record of all is most chopsticks in a beard. I stuck 520 chopsticks in my beard. To me, this one just looks really cool. And after I've done it, I can hardly believe that I fit that many chopsticks on my face. Pro tip, the smooth bamboo ones like this work the best. And last up is most baubles or Christmas ornaments in a beard. I stuck 302 of these guys into my beard. Nothing says Yuletide greetings like a beard overflowing with Christmas spirit. So be sure to snap some pictures for your Christmas card when you've got maximum bobble beard. Pro tip for this one, when you're Pro tip? Pro tip? I'll give you a pro tip. Make sure that your significant other has enough patience to put up with all of this tomfoolery. Because at the end of the day, no matter how ridiculous or how obscure the idea may seem, it is their love and support that helps keep the dream alive. You done? Yeah. Here's a bonus pro tip for you. Check out my YouTube channel. Check out my Instagram, even my Twitter if you want. I will give you all the fantastic knowledge that you need to succeed. 
bearded glory awaits you. Good luck, bearded brothers. Now, what record should I attempt next? It's like I just am sitting here and thinking, why in the world? Why in the world does this seem like a good idea? It just is, okay?